The coffee pot's on, the welcome mat's out. We know what our beans are. Hi, I'm Kip with George Sutton RV here in Eugene, Oregon. Here to tell you today about the 2015 carriage. This is a Highline fifth wheel. This is a full-time live-in coach. For those of you that know carriage, you know the name, you know that the quality is here. This coach has a big benefit to construction and build, especially for service work. If you RV a lot, you know that once in a while problems happen, service is inevitable. You're gonna need to have service. This coach has three companies that you will contact for any service work. If you have a problem with your microwave or refrigerator, you contact Samsung. Um, if you have a problem with the structure of the coach, you will contact Crossroads. If you have a problem from the pin box frame down throughout your hydraulics, your frame, your axles, your brakes, everything is through one company. So going in for service is gonna be a very, very easy process, especially for the service department to get you your parts quickly and get you back on the road. Magnetic hinge doors. You don't have clips anymore. You're not busting struts. You're not breaking anything. This is dad's toolbox. Uh, great place to store cordless drill. There is a plug here, so you can plug anything in. If you wanted to bring a, a, an optional TV outside, you have power for it. Huge, huge, huge pass-through base storage. This storage is all finished. So unlike some folks that just leave your aluminum up here, and just leave it exposed, no insulation. There is insulation there. So your bath deck is fully insulated. Large propane tanks on either side, slam latch baggage doors. Now that we've seen the outside, let's take a trip on the inside. Coming inside, you'll notice this is a very unique floor plan. This is new to carriage. This floor plan is one of my personal favorites. When you come into this place, you don't feel like you're in an RV. This feels like home. This is home. This is constructed probably better than most folks' homes in America. Back here is a huge, nice entertainment center. Still giving you back window for viewing. You have a fireplace. This puts out about 5,000 BTUs of, of electric heat instead of propane, so you're not burning propane on a, on a colder morning like today. Turn the electric heat on and you're okay. What I like about this coach, it has the optional full-length vinyl floor. You have a lot less carpet. It's easier to clean up with your vacuum. And the nice thing back here is you have a desk. Everybody has a computer. It's either gonna be set up here or set up here on the couch, just kind of laying around. The pull-out desks that some people have don't work because they're in front of the TV. Now you can't watch TV. Somebody else has to be doing something else. This puts you over here to the side. Plug-ins over here, USB ports as well, if you have just phone chargers to set there. Nice thing about this coach is this is all real residential furniture. What I'd like to do now is take you into the kitchen. What I really love about this floor plan, you have this nice pantry here. This looks residential. Put all of your plates, dishes. If you have large cookware, you can actually get things in here. Crock pot, the L-shaped kitchen. I love it. I'm the cook in my family. I have lots of stuff spread out when I'm cooking, lots of prep plates, lots of things going on. I have more than enough counter space here to do everything I need. The flush mount sink covers work really well too if I'm not using the sink or just one side. I can put these back on here, have more counter space that's flush. I can set a plate here, here, and not be worried about it. These are LG solid surface countertops. These are what you will find in residential homes. These are nice, nice countertops. So you have the dishwasher here, tons of storage. Trash can, full extension drawer glides. They are on ball bearings, stainless steel. Three burner cooktop with the large oven. That's not the smaller oven where you can barely get a chicken in, you can get a turkey in that oven. Huge microwave. The one thing that I like about this, this is a little bit bigger than a standard size plate. In your cabinets, you have a lot more room than you need for standard size plates. More storage up here. They drop the refrigerator down, raise the slide up. Now we have tons of storage up here as well. You have a lot more room to actually store food. I can keep everybody's ice cream down there. Everybody likes something different. Now we can keep everybody's down here. Carpet on the stairs. You're coming down in the middle of the night with your socks on, you're not slipping down the stairs. You have night lights here, here, and down here on the bottom of the base of the kitchen so that if you don't want to leave a light on, leave the little night lights on. It won't keep you up at night, but it will keep you safe when you're coming down here in the middle of the night. Huge dual posing slides up here. 
tons and tons of wardrobe space. You have a nice pass-through bathroom. If you have guests, they can actually come into the bathroom from downstairs, not bugging you because you have this door here. And you also have your pocket door here. Again, LG solid surface countertops throughout. It's on the counters downstairs, on your desk, in here, even when we come into the bedroom. Solid surface everywhere. They don't hold back. They don't cut corners. Solid surface countertops in here. Lots and lots of drawers. Full extension come all the way out so you can actually set your clothes in here without trying to tuck them in and back around. You have six on this side. You have a king bed in this coach. You have storage underneath. Downstairs you have two chairs. You have two additional chairs here for guests. This is an iSleep memory foam cool mattress. This mattress you do not have to upgrade. You can sleep on this mattress. But you've got a really, really, really nice wardrobe in here. Shoe storage, hanging storage. You've got your Dyson vacuum cleaner with your Dyson. It charges on there. Now you're vacuuming everywhere else. It's very easy to see when it's full. Change it out. Very, very efficient. The floors downstairs are 5 8 marine grade plywood, 11 inches on center. Most folks are 16 and who knows how much on center. You have a lot less studs on the bottom of your floor to create floor sag. Now we have more studs so the floor doesn't sag, it stays put, it stays solid for years and years and years. This bath deck up here, this whole front part where it goes over the top of the cab and over the pot top of your storage is all insulated as well. Same thing with the slide floors. They are insulated as well. Most companies, it's just a piece of plywood and that's it. These are insulated floors here. Your roof is a huge, huge benefit over everything else in the industry. Everybody uses an aluminum stud. That's three inches thick, two inches to three inches thick. So that means there's an insulation gap every 16 inches on center of two to three inches where they can't fit the insulation onto. So you have heat going out of your roof at a crazy rate. They took a page out of the motorized industry and the high-end coaches, put a C-stamped steel roof, 18 inches on center, tapered from three to five with an eighth of an inch thick. So you have next to zero insulation gap for every single stud in your roof. Again, that's steel over aluminum. It's gonna hold the coach together a lot better. The way that they can do their 30,000 BTU air conditioner more efficient than anybody else in the industry is your two ducts do not tee here. There is no 90 degree. They come back around and do a circle. One AC is blowing one way, one AC is blowing the other at a continuous flow. A lot more efficient and a lot more quiet. We know that you're gonna live in this coach, so why not be comfortable and actually be able to live in it? One last look at downstairs before we end the video. Uh, going back to your air conditioners, there's no single return. They have dual returns here and back here in the back of the coach. That brings your air conditioners back. It doesn't put one over the top of the bed so it's noisy in bed when you're going to bed at night and it's hot out and you're running your AC. It also lowers the profile of the, of the fifth wheel completely nine inches, maybe a foot. You have residential ducted heat. Also your lines, your water lines are also heated by this. So as long as your furnace is running, you will not freeze this coach. This coach will do cold weather. And it, as long as you're running your furnace, your lines will stay heated as well. Hopefully you've liked our 2015 carriage. If you'd like more information, please call us at George Sutton RV or email me, Kip at Sutton RV. That's K-I-P at SuttonRV.com. We can make your dreams come true in your very own RV. Come by, we're easy to find. Sixth and seventh at 99 at George and Sutton. You're gonna love